Hi friends and welcome back to the Cyber Haggis channel. I'd like to apologise for my absence over the last few weeks. 2020 has been a bit rubbish for myself and for everyone really. Work has fairly been kicking my head in and then unfortunately a few weeks ago we lost our eldest cat Marley and that really destroyed any motivation I had for painting or making films. And there's no point in forcing it. So you get to look after yourself mentally, and that's what I've done. I've taken a little break, but I'm back now. I picked up a paintbrush for the first time in a while yesterday. I painted up the remainder of those lovely uh, Legend Games pieces that I received. So here's me doing a bit of speed painting. This video is going to be a bit short. It's going to be just me uh, highlighting some of the techniques that I used on the fi finalised pieces. And just showing you that you can get a really nice paint job, really nice effect with only using some really simple techniques. That said, let's stop my furious speed painting now and have a look at some of the finished pieces. Here's the uh, finished bits and bobs that I had left over. So I had a couple of bases, I had the door, I had those two barrels, the uh, campfire and the chest. So firstly, let's have a look at the sandstone base I've done there. So very simply done. I have just painted that with uh, tan yellow, Vallejo color, and then I gave it a wash um, with Agrax Earthshade, uh, dry brushed again with the tan yellow, and then highlighted just some of the cracks with just uh, tan yellow with some white in it. Uh, the barrels, now what I've done with these, I have fully painted one and just wash the other so again i have just painted these with it was another vallejo color one of their browns don't remember which one leather brown perhaps and the one on your left this one i have just washed with agrax earthshade and this one i have washed but then also done some highlights my computer pinging away in the background there i'm not going to stop um so the nice thing about these Legend Games pieces, as I said before, was that they've got really delineated um, wood grain. So with this one, you can see that the wash has brought out some of it, but I've just highlighted around some of the wood grain there, brought it out. Just brings up the next level, just takes a couple of minutes to do. Um, but as I say, this one is fine. You could just leave it there. Then we've got this base. So what I tried to do with this one was try to make it look like it had a sort of magical warp stone glow in it. And how I achieved that, I just painted the base sort of grey and then uh, dry brushed it to uh, highlight it a bit. But then in between the cracks, I put a line of white and then I diffused it a little by adding more white uh but watered down um so it gave a sort of diffused area around the white uh solid line and then after that i just used some hex wraith flame which i'd never used before and i think it came out quite nice um, i actually got that cheap in a sale which is why i tried it and then i i, I um put some of the hex wraith flame just around the edges of the rock as well to make it look like it was glowing and again very quick technique only took a couple of minutes you could bang out dozens of bases in a day um, if you wanted that look uh, next up the campfire now what i tried to do with the campfire was give it a sort of like it was sort of dying down a bit and have some osl around it original source lighting origin source lighting um, it's not a technique I'm particularly familiar with, but I think that came out quite well. Um, what I did was literally just uh, add some watered down red around the edges and slowly added more paint to the watered down uh, red and picked out uh, the areas that would have been highlighted by the flame. And then I shaded sort of the, the back of the rocks and things so that... Uh, it looked like the source of the light was coming from the flame itself. I think it came out okay. 
again, not hugely familiar with OSL, but I'm quite happy with the way that came out. Next we got the door entranceway. So again, with the legend game stuff, as you can see, a lot of very nice detail on the wood there. And very much in the same way as the barrels, I just highlighted around that. And um, I think it looks really good. Again, this only took a couple of minutes. I just paint brown, give it a bit of a dark wash and then highlight it around the wood parts. And then the uh, metal is just brass, slightly highlighted up with um, some silver. And then finally, I've got the chest. So again, what a wooden detail. I thought for this one I'd make it look a bit more used, a bit more rusted than the ones I normally do. So what I did with that was I took some uh, Vallejo Skin Wash. It's my go-to for brown ink. And I watered that down. And what I did was put some of it round the edges of like these um, bolts and around the edge of the lock area and just in spots all over it. Then I simply added some orange, Trollsair orange. I like that one because it's a really bright orange, a lot of pigment in it. And I added that to the watered down skin wash and just put some around the uh, deeper into the sort of recesses around the bolt and things. And then finally, I just put some spots of Trollslayer orange just about the place in tiny little dots just to build up the, um, the rust look to it. So that's pretty much it for this video this week. Again, just short and sweet, just to get me back into the swing of things. Next week will be a proper long video. I've got another fantastic bunch of 3D prints to get to show you from a, a new manufacturer. Um, so we'll talk to you soon. Take care. All these pieces are available from Legend Games or from tabletopheroes.co.uk. Links are in the description below. Remember to join us on Facebook for more Cyber Haggis content. And remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Come back for more. Speak to you again soon.